Have you ever wanted to build a website or design an app, but felt overwhelmed by all the complexities of programming? Low code or no code solutions might be just the thing for you. First things first, let's define no code. No code platforms help people, even those without any programming expertise, design and create a range of tools, from software applications to websites, without all the pesky, or for some of us, kind of cool, code bits we usually associate with building tech. We sometimes talk about low code versus no code solutions. In this case, low code is a step above, carrying more technical onboarding costs and requiring more of a technical background, although it gives users the opportunity to do more powerful things than they otherwise would have. Instead of code, low code or no code solutions use visual interfaces, drag and drop elements, pre-built components, or even conversational AI to make it easier for people to build. Picture this, you're running a little bakery and you want to put together a website to showcase your cupcakes. And let's say you don't want to fit learning how to code into your already packed baking schedule. With a no-code solution powered by conversational AI, you could input, create a website with a header that says welcome and a button that redirects to a contact page. And then based on your description, the low-code solution would generate the corresponding HTML, CSS, and JavaScript needed to create the website. And then you can simply copy paste the code snippet into your project and voila, it works. And all it takes is some clicks, following instructions, and voila, you have a website. It's important to note that these solutions might not always generate flawless code in response to natural language input. It may still require some tweaking or debugging to ensure your application runs as desired. Still, this approach significantly simplifies the development process. And low-code or no-code platforms are empowering people from all walks of life to bring their ideas to life without starting a degree in computer science. 